but they cost so much money. It's crazy how much it costs. But for, ah, uh, but, but, but. <laughs> So today, I'm going to build my own tablet. We've all seen computers built easy enough. It's just like Legos, but today, it should be easy enough. I'm going to build my own tablet. We've all seen the IMAX. We've all seen the Tough Books. We've all seen all kinds of these kind of, you know, pretty much touchscreen type of things. And I got one here, $150. That's right. Comes with everything you need, sold on Amazon, and... About right here, I'll show a picture of it, and it should be on the thumbnail. Unfortunately, Amazon is stuck delivering toilet paper at the moment. Everybody needs toilet paper. Bruh. So, I went to Newegg. Got the same price, a little bit more for the shipping, because they don't have the Prime. But let's put it together, unbox it, check it out, and have some fun tonight. So, let's check out what looks like in the box. Now, this kit comes with an awesome amount of accessories. We got a keyboard here, which is going to be very helpful. We're going to have the touchscreen display. This is going to be the actual enclosure of it. And as you can see, that's going to be it right there. Raspberry Pi, that's right. So we got the screen, we got the keyboard, we got a power supply right here. We got the case for the touchscreen. And the most important thing here, besides the, what is this going to be? This is going to be the SD card. That's going to have our loaded operating system. We have the Raspberry Pi computer. That's it. This is going to be what's going to power it all together. Open it up. And there we go. That is going to be our touchscreen computer. All built in about the size of two ram sticks so let's get it all out and put it together easy as this now with everything laid out this is exactly all we need to put this thing together we got some screws for the enclosure that's plastic right here we got some screws for the screen uh, screen we have the ribbon cable we have some wires but i'm going to be powering the screen through the actual raspberry pi so all I will need is I will need a 3.5 volt, I believe, or a 5 off to check on that, and a 8 volt. Those other two go back in the box. Got the Raspberry Pi, and we got the operating system, the noobs that was loaded onto it. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and install this uh, micro SD into the Raspberry Pi. You have this card reader or this slot right here on the back. And if you look inside, which you may not be able to see, there's some pins on one side and not on the other. So, of course, you're going to want the pins to be in contact with the other pins. So, we just slide that right in. And there we go. That's loaded up. Next is going to be the ribbon cable. So, I'm going to install this on one side right in here. And it just pushes right in. And the other side on this side goes into the Raspberry Pi. Now you can see on one side it has these little metal ribbons or pins, on the other side it doesn't. So of course, same thing. You wanna line up these pins with the pins on the actual board. And luckily enough, they actually put display right there on there for us. Now for the ribbon port on the display, you can see on the top side, we have these actual pins right here. And we're going to make sure our ribbon makes contact with those pins. We don't want them upside down. So it's a very easy. Just push right in. And hopefully you can see from here, it just pushes right in. So next step is going to mount this Raspberry Pi. And that's the whole computer right there onto the screen and it is as easy as that I'll be using these screws over on the other side to mount them down and we just got the four screws right there on the edges of the board
Next is going to be the display port on the Raspberry Pi. Same thing if we look in here. You can see one side has pins and the other side doesn't. So of course we're going to want to make sure the ribbon has contact with the pins. So we just flip it over and if we got a good view we can just send her home. There we go. And it just goes in just like that. A little bit of force a little bit of contact and they'll stay put. And that's all to it, that's put together. Now wiring is gonna be just as simple. I'm gonna have my five pins right here down on the screen. The first one, when you look at it from a top view, you'd be able to see that it says five volts. These other ones are internal, it says SATA, and then the last one is gonna be ground. So I'm gonna to wanna to take my five volt for, uh, pin right here and this is going into that one. And then the black for the ground is going to go on to the last port. Right there. So the screen is wired for 5 volts. Now we're going to flip this around and check out the actual Raspberry Pi on the board and wire the same thing for 5 volts and the ground. Now flipped around, we're going to be going for the number 2 and the number 6 pin on the actual board. If you have questions about that, what you can do is actually go to the website, you can get some schematics, and you can find out that this pin, number two, is five volts, five volts, which is number four, and then number six, the third one on the row, is gonna be the ground. So same as before, I'm just gonna loop around here, and the five volt red is gonna go on that one, and the six volt black is gonna go there. And that's all to it. This is wired up. So the last step we're gonna take is gonna put this black cover shroud onto the back. And easy enough to know the difference, now we have some black screws and they're gonna go into the case and hold this all together. And as simple as that, we just built ourselves a tablet little machine, 150 bucks. Now the last thing to check is going to be, of course, if it powers on. So we're going to look for the power port right there, which it says power. And this USB type C is going to go right in. We'll flip it on over. Looks like it's going through some checks on boot up. Yep, inverted. And there we go. It's going to go through some installation. And we have a fully functional tablet Raspberry Pi. Mm -hmm.